Amidst the traditional lights and baubles decorating Veterans' historical plaza are some truly unique ornaments featuring the faces of women and men in uniform. A lot of them are people's sons and daughters who served, so it's a it's the military Christmas tree. It's a tree that has gone up in Newhall for 16 years now, complete with a lighting ceremony that calls on the community to think of those who served far from home or whose families will never celebrate with them again. And while some speakers sounded more like the campaign season than the holiday season. And I won't get too political here, but I do believe our commander in chief is failing us in this regard. I believe that the secretary of defense and the joint chairman of the chiefs of staff is, uh, is failing us in this regard. The younger participants returned the event to what it was really about. Despite the solemnity of honoring our veterans and thinking of those whose service means they can't be home for Christmas, the night ended with a focus not on war, but on peace. Life is a little bit too short, and those of us who are veterans know that. And so we want to have the best time we can and we want our, everybody else to, too. So tender and wild, sleep in For Canyons News, sleep in I'm Jeremy Thompson. <laughs>